Track 12. Dong Tao Chicken. Hung Yen is very famous for long gun. However, Hung Yen also has another specialty. It's called Dong Tao Chicken. Dong Tao Chicken is a unique species that for some reason, the purebred only resides in the district of Khoai Chow. It is called Dragon-Footed Bird, perhaps not surprisingly considering it has a gigantic pair of walkers. The bird is tough, strong, and comes on the heavy side, often reaching as much as the turkey's realm of 15 pounds. It is rather very difficult to raise, requiring intensive care from knowledgeable farmers. The meat, on the contrary with other birds, gets better as the chicken ages and possesses a highly unique and favorable taste. The menu is very typical, with the exception of the proudly titled Dragon Slow Cooked with Herb and Dragon's Meat is indeed the giant walkers. The bird has been crossbred throughout to improve others, and purebred is very rare these days. Owners often refuse to sell them, and some are rumored to have built underground pens for their beloved chickens to keep them when the flu hits. Track 13 1. Where are you going this summer holiday? 2. What are you doing? John? 3. How much is this smartphone? 4. When do you finish your homework? 5. Why do you learn English? Track 14 1. Have you ever been to England? 2. Can you communicate with English native speakers? 3. Do you like eating ice cream? 4. Is your father a police officer? 5. Does he want to be a doctor in the future? Track 15 Ba Na Mountain Resort Location and how to get there If you drive about 50 kilometers from Da Nang City to the west, you can finally reach one of the most spectacular sites you would have ever visited. With a height of 1,487 meters above the sea level and a temperate climate, Ba Na Mountain is a real treasure of Vietnam. What to see and do. People come to Ba Na for many reasons, but no one can deny that the rejuvenating atmosphere and the wonderful scenery of Ba Na influence them the most when deciding to come to this unique land. To get to the top of Ba Na Mountain, tourists would have to conquer a 15-kilometer zigzag road if they visited three years ago. The topography there is pretty flat, like a mini highland, luckily. Nowadays, as the longest cable car system in the world has been constructed there, no one has to bear the long and taunting 15-kilometer trip anymore. You can still do it if you happen to be an adventurer, but it is highly recommended that you take the cable car. The reason is not for safety, of course, but you will gain the rewarding experience of looking over huge scenery of Da Nang City, Vum Tung Bay, Hai Van Pass, Sun Tra Peninsula, Mi Khe Beach, Marble Mountain, and Tu Bon River, Ku Lao Cham Island. Quite a few, isn't it? In only a ride, you will witness a like no other feng shui picture. Natural Gifts because Ba Na has a diverse ecosystem, including primitive jungles which house 256 animal species and 543 plant species, ecotourism has developed there for a long time. In addition, since the beginning of the 20th century, many villages, resorts, and hotels have been built 
on the slopes of Bana Mountain and King Mountain. Even though the wars have destroyed a great part of these constructions, they have been restored recently to their former glories. As a result, Bana now welcomes thousands of visitors from everywhere in the world every year. Track 16 Exhibition on French Architecture in Hanoi The National Archive Center 1 and the Hanoi Opera House opened an exhibition on French architecture in Hanoi on October 9th. The event is part of the Hanoi Opera House's historical and architectural tours and art shows and also one of the activities being held to celebrate Capital Liberation Day, October 10th. Accordingly, a total of 70 official documents, photos, and technical drawings of six outstanding buildings with French architecture in Hanoi are on display at the Hanoi Opera House. These buildings were designed and constructed by French architects in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, including the Hanoi Opera House, the Louis Finot Museum, now the Vietnam National Museum of History, the Hanoi Post Office, the Indochina University, now managed and used by the Vietnam National University, VNU Hanoi, and the Hanoi University of Pharmacy, the Indochina Finance Office, now the headquarters of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Dume Bridge, now Long Bien Bridge. The exhibition, which will run until October 27th, provides visitors with a comprehensive view of Hanoi's architecture during the French colonial era and facilitates access to archives that are particularly significant to research on the capital's history and culture. Track 17 Number 1 What do you want to buy? I'd like to buy some apples. Number 2 I'd like some apples, please. Sorry, I don't have any apples. Number three. When will you go to the zoo? We will go to the zoo this weekend. Number four. Let's go to the cinema this weekend. Sorry, but our family is coming back to England this weekend. Track 18 Number 1 Mai is from Vietnam Really? Linda has just been there. Number 2 Do you like dogs? Yes, I do. I love them. Number 3 Let's have some pizza. Sorry. I don't like it. Number four. This hotel is beautiful. Yes, last week I stayed there. Track 19. Singapore English. Singapore English is the English language spoken in Singapore, of which there are two main forms. Standard Singapore English, and Singapore Colloquial English, better known as Singlish. Singapore English can be classified into Singapore Standard English, SSE, and Singapore Colloquial English, Singlish. The language consists of three sociolects, acrolect, mesolect, and basilect. Both acrolect and mesolect are regarded as standard Singapore English, while basilect is considered as Singlish. Singaporeans vary their language according to social situations and attitudes that they want to convey. The better educated Singaporeans, who have a higher standard of English, tend to speak standard Singapore English, the acrolect. On the other hand, and typically the less educated of Singaporeans whose first language isn't English speak Singlish, the Basilect. Gupta said that most Singaporean speakers systematically alternate between colloquial 
and formal language depending on the formality of the situation. The constant use of both SSE and Singlish has resulted in the gradual emergence of a mesolect, an intermediate form of Singapore English, halfway between formal and informal Singapore English. Track 20 The Importance of English Language in Today's World Language Language is our primary source of communication. It's the method through which we share our ideas and thoughts with others. Some people even say that language is what separates us from animals and makes us human. Education English is very essential to the field of education. In many countries, children are taught and encouraged to learn English as a second language. Even in countries where it is not an official language, such as the Netherlands or Sweden, we will find many syllabi in science and engineering are written in English. Because it is the dominant language in the sciences, most of the research and studies you find in any given scientific field will be written in it as well. The Internet and Press On the Internet, the majority of websites are written and created in English. Even sites in other languages often give you the option to translate the site. It's the primary language of the press. More newspapers and books are written in English than in any other language. And no matter where in the world you are, you will find some of these books and newspapers available. In fact, because it is so dominant in international communication, you will find more information regarding nearly every subject if you can speak this language. Travel and Business With good understanding and communication in English, you can travel around the globe. Because it is the international language for foreigners, it's easy to get assistance and help in every part of the world. English skills will also help you in any business venture you choose to follow. If you visit some offices, companies, governmental organizations, or even math or engineering companies, you will see the importance of English. Any big company will hire their professional staff after getting to know whether the people they are hiring are good at English or not. Track 21 1. What are there in your school bag? There are books, notebooks, pens, pencils and a blackboard. 2. What animals did you see at the zoo? I saw tigers, lions, kangaroos, crocodiles, peacocks and bears. 3. What do you see in the pictures? There is a house, a garden, a lake, a car and some dogs. 4. What animals do your parents have on the farm? They have dogs, cats, cows, lambs, hens, and pigs. Track 22 1. What are there in your school bag? There are books, notebooks, pens, pencils and a blackboard. 2. What animals did you see at the zoo? I saw tigers, lions, kangaroos, crocodiles, peacocks and bears. 3. What do you see in the pictures? There is a house, a garden, a lake, a car and some dogs. 4. What animals do your parents have on the farm? They have dogs, cats, cows, lambs, hens, and pigs. Track 23 Yuri Gagarin As the first man to ever go into space, no list of famous astronauts would be complete without Yuri Gagarin. Born in the village of Klushino in the Smolensk Oblast on March 9, 1934, Gagarin was drafted into the Soviet Air Force in 1955 and trained in the use of jet fighters. 
In 1960, he was selected on, alongside 19 other pilots to join the newly formed Soviet space program. Gagarin was further selected to become part of the Sochi 6, an elite group of cosmonauts who formed the backbone of the Vostok program. Due to his training, physical size, as the spacecraft were quite cramped, and favor amongst his peers, Gagarin was selected to be the first human cosmonaut, they had already sent dogs, to make the journey. On April 12, 1961, Gagarin was launched aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft from the Baikonur Cosmodrome and thus became the first man to go into space. During re-entry, Gagarin claimed to have whistled, The motherland hears, the motherland knows, and reportedly said, I don't see any god up here, when he reached suborbital altitude, which was falsely attributed. Afterwards, he toured the world and became a celebrity at home, commemorated with stamps, statues, and the renaming of his ancestral village to Gagarin. The 12th of April is also known as Cosmonauts Day in Russia and many former Soviet states in his honor. Gagarin died during a routine training exercise on March 27, 1968. The details of his death were not released until June of 2013 when a declassified report indicated that Gagarin's death was caused by the error of another pilot. Track 24 Number 1. We can believe him? We've never met him. Number 2. They are completely honest. Number 3. My mother is a skillful chef. Number 4. He's a worker? He looks like a teacher. Track 25 Number 1. We can believe him? We've never met him. Number 2. They are completely honest. Number 3. My mother is a skillful chef. Number 4. He's a worker? He looks like a teacher. Track 26. Role of Vietnamese Women Changing Vietnamese women play an increasingly important role in the nation's development, especially at present and in the future. When we look back at the development of Vietnamese society, particularly economic development, women hold a key position as they directly participate in the national labor force and in paid labor. For instance, in agriculture, one of the country's key sectors, women make up some 70% of the labor force, and in production alone, they make up not a modest workforce in export-oriented industries, such as garment and textile, footwear, light industry, and seafood processing. Also, women's economic roles will be much more significant in the future as Vietnam more deeply integrates into the world while these industries continue to spearhead the economy. I do hope policymakers in Vietnam are aware of the role of Vietnamese women in the economy so they make appropriate policies to further support empower, and reward women equally. Society should look at women through their contributions to the economy, rather than as something secondary besides men. Track 27 Celebrate Women's Day on the 20th of October, 2017, in Vietnam. Together with International Women's Day on March 8th, Vietnam also celebrates National Women's Day on October 20th. 
The Women's Day 2017 is among several occasions on which the society show their love and respect to Vietnamese women. Though this is not a public holiday, Vietnamese Women's Day is celebrated grandly throughout the country. Vietnamese women often receive beautiful roses, postcards, lots of gifts with the best wishes from their lovers, husbands, male colleagues, friends or relatives on this 2017 Women's Day. Things to do on Women's Day in Vietnam Actually, there are lots of things for Vietnamese men to show their love to women this day. For those who are in love, the day is something like another Valentine's Day. The man usually buys a beautiful bunch of flowers, a meaningful gift for his sweetheart, and takes her to go out for a romantic evening. For married couples, the husband gets into the kitchen and cooks a special dinner for the whole family or takes the family to eat out. The man is in charge of all the housework, like cooking, cleaning the house, and caring for the kids. And the woman just waits for flowers, chocolate, greeting cards, jewelry, perfumes, gifts, eating, and going out. Track 28 1. We are going to have a power cut today. Brilliant. 2. This computer is good. I think it's fantastic. 3. Your new house is okay? It's superb. I love it so much. 4. I failed the exam. Excellent. Track 29. Industrial Revolutions in the World First Industrial Revolution The First Industrial Revolution took place from the 18th to 19th centuries in Europe and America. It was a period when mostly agrarian, rural societies became industrial and urban. The iron and textile industries, along with the development of the steam engine, played central roles in the Industrial Revolution. Second Industrial Revolution The Second Industrial Revolution took place between 1870 and 1914, just before World War I. It was a period of growth for pre-existing industries and expansion of new ones, such as steel, oil, and electricity, and used electric power to create mass production. Major technological advances during this period include the telephone, light bulb, phonograph, and the internal combustion engine. Third Industrial Revolution The Third Industrial Revolution, or the Digital Revolution, refers to the advancement of technology from analog electronic and mechanical devices to the digital technology available today. The era started during the 1980s and is ongoing. Advancements during the Third Industrial Revolution include the personal computer, the Internet, and information and communications technology. Fourth Industrial Revolution The Fourth Industrial Revolution builds on the Digital Revolution representing new ways in which technology becomes embedded within societies and even the human body. The Fourth Industrial Revolution is marked by emerging technology breakthroughs in a number of fields, including robotics, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, quantum computing, biotechnology, the Internet of Things, 3D printing, and autonomous vehicles.